we now approach the first word when they came to the place called the skull they nailed jesus to the cross there and the two criminals one on his right and one on his left jesus said forgive them father they know not what they are doing can you be seated this word is reflected to us by friana the pergant this scripture jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing this mission of jesus to build god's kingdom was on a sole principle of love forgiveness throughout his preaching and ministry forgiveness was the hallmark every healing from the lord came through forgiveness during this period jesus was scourged he carried the cross to calvary suffering severe injuries and falling multiple times and was filled with agony his passion continued till his very last breath so what does this tell us about jesus jesus even in his sufferings was concerned for the forgiveness of those who had persecuted him this signifies forgiveness was the ultimate reason jesus died on the cross it is important to note the words father forgive them This shows the merciful heart of Jesus. Moreover, Jesus was also trying to put into practice the principles he had thought on the sermon on the mount. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbors and hate your enemies, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This symbolizes Jesus the persecuted prayed for his persecutors in his last hour jesus made a rallying cry an unselfish prayer to god almighty he made a humble request and it was quite remarkable how even in his final moments jesus wasn't pleading to be saved but instead he forgave others looking at this very carefully as a youth myself i would be petrified and my prayer would probably be god if only i could utter any words at all as you the majority of us find it really hard in fact impossible to forgive others because we have suffered and created wounds but is this all necessary can we change this can we close these wounds that we have suffered in order to be healed again well the answer is yes Yes we can but do this we need Jesus to be accepted in our hearts What we should learn from this is Jesus loves us no matter how ignorant we are and how we deliberately commit our sins Jesus will always show infinite mercy He teaches us to be humble and repent as he revealed in the last seven words Father forgive them Remember just like the parable of the lost sheep you and I in this scenario are the lost sheep that Jesus would do anything to find In conclusion the first word speaks to us and calls us to forgive others and ask for forgiveness God is truly waiting with his arms wide open to embrace us as his beloved children So tell me are we ready to accept God and his forgiveness and let this dwell among us let us pray lord jesus help us to know with fresh conviction that we are forgiven not because of anything we have done but because what we have done for us may we live today as forgiven persons opening our hearts to you 
choosing not to sin because the power of sin has been broken by salvation help us to come back to you and embrace your love and mercy we make this prayer through christ our lord amen i say